Geelong's 93.9 Bay FM. Catch up with Roxy and Mark. We'll catch up with Dr. Jack soon for some bed advice. But first, just wanted to tackle a little issue that was drawn to my attention yesterday, that this Christmas pen I have, which is in the shape of a... A tree. A felt Christmas tree with little jingle jangles on it. Yes. So I, at about 5.30 yesterday, well, he'd been playing with it through the whole show. Day, but then at about 5.30 when James came in from the newsroom, yes. um, James found it particularly annoying. I just assumed you were trying to get a rise out of me, so I didn't really respond. And then we both said how annoying it was. And you said, what are I you talking about? I can't hear it. And I actually can't hear that jingle jangle. And then I got a email from Fiona from um, Warren Pond's Hearing Clinic. Uh, and it said something along the lines of, dear Mark. I know you can't because you was in capitals. Anyway, Fiona was actually in here. at the Hi, Fiona. Hi, Mark. Hi, Richie. <laughs> Hello, Fiona. So explain to us what the Billy-O is going on here. So something wrong with my hearing. Is that what you're saying? Well, no. It's just that you're not 20 years old anymore. Right. Oh, um, so, you know, as we age, our mm -hmm. hearing does age. We mm -hmm. may not think it's ageing, but we lose the treble sounds first. You're saying even your receptionist found it annoying? Yes, definitely. Kirsty found it annoying as well. Oh. Yeah. See, you yeah. found it annoying, didn't you, Fiona? Oh, yes. I was trying to drive home and listen, and somebody kept ringing bells in the background. See? See, Mark? She's in here to lend advice or chastise me. <laughs> so I'm going well for my 80 years. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So what's the go? So as I... As you get older, you lose what the top end. Yeah, so generally you lose the, the top end, mm -hmm. um, which means that the start and ends of the words where the high-pitched consonants are get l less clear. So Granny used to say that kids these days all mumble. Mm. Um, which, in fact, was a hearing loss. Oh, Mark. Um, oh, you haven't. Shut up, Roxy. <laughs> but some women <laughs> age differently, so some women just lose the volume, so they don't miss as much of the high pitch as the men do. Is that a better thing, to lose it right across the board? Well, no, because, you, you know, low... Low pitch hearing still good. You can hear the cars coming down the street. Yeah, Your okay. wife may not. Mm, um, okay, and yeah. then you can't hear the high pitch, but she can, which is why you end up with lots of arguments. Because mm. it, I believe that the way I hear is the way everyone else hears. Mm. So, um, But of course, you know. that's not it, is it? We no. all hear well, independently. I can actually lie awake at night. The fridge keeps me awake at night some nights. When you go to bed, mm. and you just hear the, that low rumble coming yeah. up the leg of the bed. And you just, oh. Yeah. When it turns off, suddenly I relax. Yeah, and that's that low pitch hearing. Yeah. So you've still got that very well. So no one's going to creep up behind you. No. So except um, Santa's reindeer. Except Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the elf <laughs> or the thing. I, so I still can't hear that. So, so what can you do? So you start losing that, that treble, that top end. Well, you don't need to do much. You just need to be aware of it. Right. So if, you know, your job was hearing tiny beeps as warnings, then you'd be in, in yes. trouble. Yes. You're sacked, okay. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, mostly it's not a problem, but you need to employ strategies. So, you know, if you've turned the microwave on and you're not going to hear the beep, you need to go and look at the microwave. All right. Well, um, that's okay. I can do that. You know, yeah. um, if, you, if you can't hear certain pictures so well, like the cars, well, you need to check if there's traffic coming before you right. walk out. Um, so, you know, everyone puts their head in the sand and says, I don't want to get a hearing test because I don't want to know that I've got old. But in fact, getting a hearing test, you know, we often um, see pensioners just when they get onto the pension. Um, and at sort of 65, most people have a certain hearing loss. Mm. And you can explain to them, well, this is what you're missing. This was what you're getting. And so this is what will sound unclear. So, you know, if you can't understand conversations so well in background noise, don't go to the noisiest cafe. Go to a quieter cafe mm. and have that conversation. I must admit, I do find those social situations these days where you're in a noisy room and you're trying to do mm. a two or three way conversation. Yeah. That can be difficult. And that's because in noise, your low pitch hearing is being masked out by the noise. So what is right. your good hearing has actually got worse as well. Oh. Um, yeah. no, I just won't go out. People aren't that interesting anyway. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> now let's face it, you're not that oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. Touche. And, and that's the thing. On Christmas Day, there's lots of people you'd be happy not to hear so well. I yeah. hear yeah. hey, what you're saying there. I heard you loud and clear then in between the lines. Yeah, a, a lot of... <laughs> A lot of hearing aids Sorry. seem to break down in um, during Christmas dinners, yeah, um, right. but magically restore themselves on Boxing Day. So, yeah. so yes. just, just very quickly, just on hearing aids. So if you lose that top end, but you're still kind of functioning, you might need a telly a bit louder than everyone else. Hmm. Hearing aid, not necessarily. No. So as long as you can um, do your lifestyle. So yes. if the wife says, I'm going to divorce you if the TV doesn't get softer, 
either you go out and get cordless headsets so you can control okay, your yeah. own volume but often if the clarity is a huge problem you turn up the volume it's still unclear in which yeah. case a customizable hearing solution like yeah. a hearing aid yeah. is really the only option and from what i've seen they're pretty good now you can hardly oh, see them can yeah well that's the thing they're discreet um mm. and we find now if if people actually go and actually trial a hearing aid mm. they realize that nobody else cares that they're wearing them because if they're hearing mm. properly they don't look like somebody who's deaf Right, because yes. you're not turning your head on the side. Yeah, you're not acting Speaking like Speaking to my Brenda. good ear, Fiona. <laughs> not saying things like... <laughs> which I'm not oh, sure which one it is now. I don't know, Kendra, all these young friends of yours, they all mumble. They do. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> oh, well, Fiona, thanks oh, for coming in, that, Fiona. That, look, that was really interesting, oh, no. Fiona. Thank you so much for giving us a bit of a lowdown. Fiona's <laughs> from the Warren Ponds Hearing Clinic, and you can stop writing to me in capitals. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> heard you. I'm sorry, but it was early in the morning, and you had really irritated me. Sorry, All right. thanks. Well, jingle bells and Merry Christmas. <laughs> thanks, Fiona. Thank it's you. the catch up here at Bay of M.